change is always good. And I think it was very important for me to actually step out of my comfort zone. I was very comfortable in New York. And um, stepping outside of my comfort zone allowed me to venture off into a world that I never imagined. My name is Vanessa Jan. I am a media personality, a mompreneur, and a philanthropist. Why did I move to Africa? So it's interesting because it was never on my, my mood board to even leave New York City. Um, but I had an amazing opportunity in the media industry working with Global Media Alliance. And that is why I relocated nine years ago. Growing up, I was born in, in the States. When I was very young, we moved to London, and then at the age of eight, we moved back to the States, New York to be exactly. So, you know, most of my life I was in New York, and I think it's the, the hustler spirit. New York is very a very fast-paced life. Everyone is hustling, trying to get from point A to point B, and I think that has played a major influence in my life, especially in my career. My dream growing up is exactly what I'm doing now, funny enough. I always wanted to work in the, the industry. I loved the, the TV world. I loved the print world. Um, I was very obsessed with it. Um, I would run home at 4 p.m. to watch the Oprah Winfrey show, to watch Ricky Lake, and then 106 in Park to see how the presenters were, their mannerisms. So um, working in the media world was a dream of mine since I was, I was a child, and I'm literally living my dream. My future occupation is where I am, like working in the industry, owning my boutique, and also running a successful and very well-respected NGO. Um, when it comes to people that, you know, I've looked up to over the years, who doesn't say Oprah? Oprah has always been an inspiration. Um, as I said, I would run home 4 p.m. to make sure I was watching the Oprah Winfrey show. I think her journey and her story is one that is just inspiring in, in so many ways. I run the Modern Day Mom, Modern Day Toddler Boutique, and it's all because of my son and me becoming a mom. And as much as there's so many boutiques in Ghana, there's always something that's missing. And um, I wanted to bring an experience to my shop and, and for mothers when they enter my shop. And I also wanted a space that was comfortable and relaxing and a space that they know that if they come in, we're trying to make motherhood the easiest for you. So that is what Modern Day Mom, Modern Day Toddler is all about. We stock products that are convenient for the everyday, or I should say the modern day mom and the modern day toddler. How do I balance it all, being a mom, a media personality, an actress, a philanthropist? You know, I think the fact that everything kind of aligns, everything has to do with motherhood. My shop deals with motherhood, my NGO deals with motherhood, and I think I've come to the point in my career where I can call the shots. Um, I am in full control of my career, I'm in full control of my schedule. That's something that even when I became pregnant, I knew that I wanted. I wanted to make sure I had that balance. And lucky for me, everything has fallen into perfect place. The first time I visited Ghana, I was eight. Um, that was for a year. We were transitioning from London to New York. So I was here for a year with my grandma. I went to school at Soul Clinic. And to me, it, was, it wasn't anything like a transition. Like I, I was a child, I was living with my family. They made everything very welcoming. Um, and then I had cousins also around. So it wasn't, let's say like a, a culture shock, especially because my mom is 100% Ghanaian. My grandmother is 100% Ghanaian. I grew up in a Ghanaian household, even though we didn't live in Ghana full time. Moving to Ghana was never a plan. I am a New York City girl. I love the hustle bustle. I love chasing the train. I love hopping off the train and getting a Starbucks. Like that was my life. And that is what I thought would always be my life. But change is always good. And I think it was very important for me to actually step out of my comfort zone. I was very comfortable in New York. And um, stepping outside of my comfort zone allowed me to 
venture off into a world that I never imagined. Okay, so I've been in Ghana for nine years. Um, August made nine years. And to be honest, I always say that I'm still settling down. <laughs> um, every day I'm settling down. And I don't think I'll ever fully settle down in a sense. I, I hope you guys understand that. Um, it's still a learning experience. I'm still growing. I'm still navigating the system. Um, yes, I've found my footing, but um, there's always elements that I miss of New York City. Um, but as a whole, I am here full time. I do love being in Ghana and I don't regret um, relocating to Ghana. Some of the challenges I faced, I think, um, you know, from some, New York, we, 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 what's the word? We, we stand our ground. <laughs> we say it as it is. I think that was something that people were taken aback by. It was very, oh, don't bring that abrutria mentality. Um, but at the same time, I think it was also good because it allowed people to also know how much I can tolerate or will tolerate. Um, but I think it's the, I want it, so I'm gonna go for it energy that I brought to Ghana. And I think that has really, really helped me over the past nine years, like being a, a go-getter. My career journey since I relocated to Ghana. So nine years ago, I started working at Global Media Alliance at ETV. I started off as a producer. I produced for Caroline Sampson. I produced for DJ Kess. And then um, I started to sit in for Caroline Sampson. And then eventually I got my own TV show, The Sincerely V Show, which featured the likes of Gifty Auntie, Anita Eskin, Toki McKinwa from Nigeria, and so much more. I created that show, produced that show, and ETV, you know, pampered it like a baby. Um, eventually, I got into radio thanks to Joelle. So I was also on YFM, where um, I took over the afternoon entertainment news. Eventually got my own radio show, Wired, with my very good friend, Nana Sentio, where the likes of D Black would come through and like drop their music, Stoneboy also. After that, I moved on to EIB. I was on radio first, Live FM, uh, alongside Sammy Forsen. Um, eventually got my own show. Um, where else? Oh my gosh, it's, it's a lot. Then, Sincerely V started premiering on GH1, so I took my TV show to GH1. Um, then I took a break from the media space in Ghana. I needed to just breathe because I had my son and um, recently came back and um, we premiered Modern Day Moms of Accra on DGN. It's the first of its kind reality show in Africa with the focus being on moms in Africa, the modern day mom. And um, recently opened my boutique, the modern day mom, modern day toddler. In between, I've done things for um, United Nations. I've done things for um, other brands. So I've, it's been a busy, busy nine years. <laughs> Okay, so I think everyone knows my father, the late Kiki Jan of Osibisa. Um, and I think many people also know that you, he did not raise me. My mom did raise me, um, but I do have a relationship with my dad's side of the family. Of, you know, when I came, when I was very young, you know, I did meet with my dad, but we didn't discuss, we didn't discuss Ghana. <laughs> we discussed like our own personal um, relationship. Growing up, my father wasn't my primary um, caretaker, um, but as I know, he loved me very, very much. I am his only child. I have built this amazing relationship with my auntie, which is my dad's sister and my, my cousins. And um, it's one that is inexplainable, even though I wasn't raised here and you know I wasn't raised with them. From day one that we met, it was just a natural, love for each other, which I'm very, very appreciative for. So when it comes to my foundation, I was pregnant in... Okay, so I did my prenatal care seven months here in Accra, Ghana at a private clinic. And then I went to New York to give birth. But while I was here, as much as I was in a private clinic, I felt like there's still certain things that were missing. You know, I remember when my friends gave birth in New York, like little 
pamphlets they would receive. They would get coupons. They would get samples of products from baby wipes to um, pampers. And I, I, that element just was missing to me. So when I went back to New York, I started to do research while I was seven, eight months pregnant. And I started to ask my mommy friends in Ghana about their full experience, you know, delivering here and, and their pre postnatal care. And I was really, really taken aback and I wanted to do something. I didn't know what it was, but I wanted to do something. Um, I continued my research and then I got connected to Ridge Hospital. And uh, we had our first event when I came back in October. And it was really all about, you know, educating these women for free, um, pregnant women for free on prenatal care, postnatal care, um, giving them vim, giving them some type of, you know, uh, hope in their, in their lives. Because these are women from low-income families. And from then, that's when we started to pay their discharge bills. Because that first event, there were a couple of moms not knowing they were detained because they couldn't afford to be discharged. So we started to pay their discharge bills. And um, it became a bi-yearly event which now we throw mass baby showers for free. We also continue to discharge patients year round. We create care packages and we educate these women. I created a show called Modern Day Moms of Accra. It's the first of its kind reality show in Africa that is centered around mothers, um, the modern day mom. And um, we just wrapped up season one. We're getting ready to film season two. And it literally chronicles the lives of five moms living in Accra, from motherhood to career to their social lives. Um, it's, it's such a fun, refreshing show, executive produced by a culture management group. And um, I'm just really excited for what's to come with Modern Day Moms of Accra. We have um, a live conversation. We also have the Modern Day Mom chat which we were doing via Zoom for some time. We took it to Spaces and we're now going live during Afrochella, during the Afrochella house. So I'm excited about that. We'll be launching the Modern Day Mom chat podcast um, early next year. And um, there's just, it's, there's a lot. Like every day there's something that I either have to approve um, or, or disapprove <laughs> um, when it comes to, um, you know, work life and the career life. But um, my main focus is Modern Day Mom, the brand as a whole, which is the boutique and the TV show. And of course, um, my NGO. Yearly December, we have these incredible care packages that we distribute. We will be heading to Obojo Polyclinic in the Obojo area to distribute these fantastic care packages that are filled with everything from shea butter to Gandor cosmetic products to um, baby wipes and diapers and, and so much more. So I'm looking forward to that um, happening the holiday season. Um, what has contributed? I think great packaging. Ghana is a, a, a beautiful place. It is, um, it is the its place right now, which makes me very happy. Because to be honest, back in the day, when you're saying you're even from Africa or you're coming to Africa, it was like, oh my God, why, you know? And for Ghana to right now be like the it place is amazing. There's so much to see, um, so much to learn, um, and and and. Yeah, I have I have so many friends who are not Ghanaian, who are not African, that are excited to even come back this holiday season. And like I said, it is the it place right now. Um, we have from the restaurants to the culture, there's always something that will bring you to Ghana. Even if it's just the vibes, um, you will definitely love Ghana. Am I happy with my decision relocating to Ghana? Yes, I don't have any regrets. I think everything in general is a learning experience. Packing my bags, uh, the only time I'm packing my bags is on holiday. <laughs> Ghana is home full time. You know, I'm raising my son here, which I think is amazing. Um, I won't be going, I won't be leaving. This will always be home full time um, because I've built something that I never, I imagined it, but sometimes you imagine it, but it's like, it's actually happened, you know? And for me, that's incredible. And 
anyone who knows knows that I've built this from scratch from from the bottom I've just been climbing every single day so when I look back I'm just really proud of what I have accomplished the past nine years relocating from New York to Accra oh my returnees my diaspora babies um you know what come here with a plan <laughs> you know i would sit nine ten years ago you can come and it's vibes and you can just figure things out it's uh, 10 years later it's it's really different i really want you to come with a plan a vision and be ready to put in the work um, people think that, oh, I'm going to move to Ghana. It's just going to be like easy, breezy, simple. Oh, the system is this way so I can just maneuver things. No, you need to actually put in the work. And um, don't be afraid to put in the work. Networking also is very important. When people reach out to me for advice, I'm always willing to give advice. Networking, put in the work and come with a plan. Sometimes your plan may not be the, what you end up doing but come with something that you want to do and um don't be scared i always say change is good change is challenging um but change is is worth it it's really worth it Hello, my name is Vanessa Jan. I'm a media personality, a philanthropist, and a mompreneur based in Accra, Ghana. You are watching Face to Face Africa, the premier global black voice.